The siren, a man is often secretly oppressed by the role he has to play, by always having to be responsible, in control, and rational. The siren is the ultimate male fantasy figure because she offers a total release from the limitations of his life. In her presence, which is always heightened and sexually charged, the male feels transported to a realm of pure pleasure. In a world where women are often too timid to project such an image, learn to take control of the male libido by embodying his fantasy. The rake, a woman never quite feels desired and appreciated enough. She wants attention, but a man is too often distracted and unresponsive. The rake is a great female fantasy figure. When he desires a woman, brief though that moment may be, he will go to the ends of the earth for her. He may be disloyal, dishonest, and amoral, but that only adds to his appeal. Stir a woman's repressed longings by adapting the rake's mix of danger and pleasure. The ideal lover, most people have dreams in their youth that get shattered or worn down with age. They find themselves disappointed by people, events, reality, which cannot match their youthful ideals. Ideal lovers thrive on people's broken dreams, which become lifelong fantasies. You long for romance, adventure, lofty spiritual communion, the ideal lover reflects your fantasy. He or she is an artist in creating the illusion you require. In a world of disenchantment and baseness, there is limitless seductive power in following the path of the ideal lover. The dandy, most of us feel trapped within the limited roles that the world expects us to play. We are instantly attracted to those who are more fluid than we are, those who create their own persona. Dandies excite us because they cannot be categorized and hint at a freedom we want for ourselves. They play with masculinity and femininity. They fashion their own physical image, which is always startling. Use the power of the dandy to create an ambiguous, alluring presence that stirs repressed desires. The natural, childhood is the golden paradise we are always consciously or unconsciously trying to recreate. The natural embodies the longed-for qualities of childhood, spontaneity, sincerity, unpretentiousness. In the presence of naturals, we feel at ease, caught up in their playful spirit, transported back to that golden age. Adopt the pose of the natural to neutralize people's defensiveness and infect them with helpless delight. The coquette, the ability to delay satisfaction is the ultimate art of seduction, while waiting, the victim is held in thrall. Coquettes are the grandmasters of the game, orchestrating a back-and-forth movement between hope and frustration. They bait with the promise of reward, the hope of physical pleasure, happiness, fame by association, power, all of which, however, proves elusive. Yet this only makes their targets pursue them the more. Imitate the alternating heat and coolness of the coquette and you will keep the seduced at your heels. The charmer, charm is seduction without sex. Charmers are consummate manipulators, masking their cleverness by creating a mood of pleasure and comfort. Their method is simple, they deflect attention from themselves and focus it on their target. They understand your spirit, feel your pain, adapt to your moods. In the presence of a charmer you feel better about yourself. Learn to cast the charmer's spell by aiming at people's primary weaknesses, vanity and self-esteem. The charismatic, charisma is a presence that excites us. It comes from an inner quality, self-confidence, sexual energy, sense of purpose, contentment, that most people lack and want. This quality radiates outward, permeating the gestures of charismatics, making them seem extraordinary and superior. They learn to heighten their charisma with a piercing gaze, fiery oratory, and air of mystery. Create the charismatic illusion by radiating intensity while remaining detached. The star, daily life is harsh and most of us constantly seek escape from it in fantasies and dreams. Stars feed on this weakness, standing out from others through a distinctive and appealing style, they make us want to watch them. At the same time, they are vague and ethereal, keeping their distance, and letting us imagine more than is there. Their dreamlike quality works on our unconscious. Learn to become an object of fascination by projecting the glittering but elusive presence of the star.